Still driving along the side of the road. You see this? You can see where the snow plow was piled up snow and you see kind of tops, not the tops of the trees, but you see the, the side branches of the trees. And this is often what I look for when I'm collecting uh, bonsai from the side of the road. Now there are sometimes there's a beautiful tree and uh, but you know that could be someone's someone's tree on their drive home that they see and they say oh that just brings them home and gives them something. So I try, I try not to ever take anything that uh, you know, looks like a really beautiful tree. So I'm often looking for this this more you know what something gnarled up you know it's been taken out um, type of tree right. So now and I always want to be careful of uh, looking for diseases like this. You don't want to bring something that might have a disease into your into your garden. But as you can see there's there's another big 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 trunk there comes up. You know I'm often looking for these these unique deadwood features. Um, you know something to be able to carve out. You can hear I mean some of these are just just beast beast monsters. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe too big, right? Like that's just really, really thick at the bottom. Uh, but you know, a lot of these will make, could make a really good bonsai. Here's a, here's a pine. This looks like a ponderosa of some sort. You can just see it's been topped several times. Um, so yeah, that's uh, some ideas about collecting at the side of the road. Another good place to look for is these sort of rock, rock outcroppings on the side of the road. Uh, you know, often you'll see a tree growing out like this. Uh, off the side and it'll collect really well. Usually it collects really well unless there's a vein that goes right deep into the rock but what happens is the roots are staying on the surface so it can make a great bonsai but you can see the age of the tree it's extremely old and it doesn't even look like it's been it's been topped in any way and yet it's pretty small and, and has a lot of ramification for it so you know this could this could be a good one to collect. I'm not actually going to take this one um, but you can see just the beautiful old bark and stuff that's that's there. Uh, so that's just just another idea but where to potentially look for for bonsai material. So I saw this driving by the side of the road. I thought I'd stop, take a look. You know, I saw this just sort of dead wood coming out and uh, I think I might just take this one. It's it's huge. It's very big, but it's actually it actually feels quite loose. So I don't think the roots are that deep in there. And it has this one huge, you, know, you might not be able to see here, it's a huge base here and then it triple stalks and comes out. The tree looks pretty healthy. Uh, this nice new shoots coming out with some nice dead wood. So uh, I think this one, this one might take me a bit to get out, but actually I like the, I like the looks of this one. So this is often what I look for when I'm looking at uh, collecting bonsai sites is I see the power lines here and then this nice, beautiful, rocky uh, bank. And so what'll happen is the power companies will come in and they'll, they'll top all of these trees uh, in here. So you're pretty much guaranteed to find something something quite nice for a stock um, you know especially if you're looking for deadwood features but you can see everything's just been top and so there's tons of branches down below you know like here's a nice cedar coming up and you can see it's got a pretty intense root base in here uh, you often want to shake want to shake the tree a little bit to see if it can come out because the roots can be really easy to get because they're on rocks and they can be perfect for bonsai or sometimes they're just wedged in there and there's no hope so you don't want to start digging and kill the tree unless you know it can come out Here's another potential one. You can see they've just they've come in here and topped it, uh, but it's got a pretty thick stalk. And I like to look for pretty healthy, healthy growth on these. Uh, you know, it's already quite, quite a lot on them just to be taken out. You know, like here's a nice one. Uh, you can see it's coming out of this though, uh, and so this is just a branch coming out of it. So not not the best. You know, and you could always you can always find ones like this here. And you could, uh, you know, bend it around a bunch, start forming it, it'd be a tree in development. So hopefully that gives you guys some more ideas on where to collect and how to collect bonsai. So this tree came out really quite easy. Uh, you can see the, the, the tense roots don't go deep. You're not getting a huge fat root that comes straight off. They often go along. I had to trim this here, but there's tons of fine small roots uh, all up in this. And so it should be good. I've, can, you know, you can kind of try to keep as much of this dirt as possible keep the tree alive. And here's the trees I collected. It's just a little one I got up out there. It's a really nice movement. You know, it could eventually be a cascade, although I'm not into cascades these days. Uh, but this was actually all underground. So you do have a bit of a reverse taper happening there, but kind of twin stalk kind of separates. I'll have to split them at some point. 
There's this one. So take a look at that beautiful base, the trunk. Decent movement in that far trunk on the left. This one comes into a dead wood here. Uh, and you know, eventually, and then it splits up here into a dead wood. I've actually wired both of these two branches back a bit to give light down to this lower section. I really have no idea how I'm going to design it, so I want to give all the branches the best chance of um, getting light and thickening up because at some point I'll have to decide which are uh, going to be the primary branches. These, of course, these are trees in development. You can see they're just nice. This one, because often when you get them in the wild collecting, the roots don't agree with the exact angle of the pots you want to have it. So I've got this one tilted up. Um, you know, eventually it might even be tilted up more, uh, but the roots just have to get strong centered in there. dead wood in the center there 